Hey, good morning guys. I hope everyone's doing well. Right now it's quarter to eight in the morning. Um, this is quite early for me. Totally aware that it's pretty late for a lot of people. <laughs> um, but anyway, today I've got up so I can do a 12 hour reading challenge. I first saw this on Faye's channel and Faye runs the channel Mystery Date with a book. And basically I think she's done it two years running where you literally just spend 12 hours reading as many physical pages as you can just to see how much you can read and then try and beat it the next year. <laughs> so I thought it might be a fun thing to try and do um, every year just to see if my reading speed has increased. This is going to be my first time doing it, just to kind of set the base line <laughs> to start with. I've always gone on and on and on about how slow I am as a reader, so I just thought I would see how slow I am. Um, I was talking to my brother the other day and he was saying he could read like 80 pages in 40 minutes or something, um, like when he was commuting, and I'm pretty sure in an hour I can only read 20-25 pages. If I manage to do all 12 hours today, which this is another thing, I don't think I have the stamina to read for 12 hours, um, so it's going to probably decline off quite rapidly. So if I can read like say 20 pages in an hour, if I'm trying to be hopeful, then what's that, 10 times 20? It's 200 plus 40, so 240 pages is what I think I'm going to read based off those stats. Um, but I don't think I've ever read like more than like 150 pages in a day. I don't know, maybe I have, maybe I haven't. Okay, so I believe, I haven't watched Faye's video for a while, I've been meaning to do this for ages, so I haven't re-watched it this morning, um, but I think the rules are, yeah, no audiobooks, and the books have to be books, like they can't be graphic novels or anything like that. But the two books I actually have here are quite different in size <laughs> um, and text on each page, so it's kind of an unfair test, um, but whatever. It is what it is, it's an average I guess. So the two books I'm going to start with today is A Dark Shade of Crimson by Pamela Thomas Graham. So this is a crime novel that was written back in the 90s and I'm reading it for my friends and family book club. Um, I'm actually enjoying it. It's kind of, it's, you know, kind of 90s in that there's things that you wouldn't say now. Um, but it is quite enjoyable. It's also fairly, like, unbelievable in parts. Um, you can't quite understand why characters are being the way that they are, but it is quite an enjoyable read. I'm really intrigued. So I'm currently on page 181. Um, on chapter 15. So I haven't got that much to go actually. I think there's, I've got just over a hundred pages to go of this book. And I need to finish it today because my stepmom needs me to pass it on to her so she can read it for the book club. <laughs> so yeah, and I'm seeing her tomorrow for the football. Um, but yeah, so this is what I'm going to be focusing on mainly today. And then for this month, my plan has been to read in between every book that I've finished one piece of writing from Teaching a Stone to Talk by Annie Dillard um, and this is a book of like travel writings and kind of just thoughts. Um, some pieces have blown my mind kind of and I've just been like wow yeah I would never think to describe it like that but she describes things so well you can just feel it and feel like you're there with her. Like she described this solar eclipse that she saw and I mean she was quite dramatic I guess um, and I feel like sometimes she can be quite full of woe, but I quite like that. That kind of meshes with my personality quite well. But then other pieces I haven't quite understood. Yeah, anyway, there's lots to say about this book, to be honest. Um, for a little book, it's got a lot in it. And yeah, like I say, I want to read one piece of writing from this in between every book I read this month. So I will be reading On a Hill Far Away is the next piece of writing. Um... So yeah, I'll be starting, I'll be doing that. Okay, that's it for now. So it's 10 to 8. I'm probably going to make a cup of tea and settle down. And I think I'm going to use a timer. So every time I sit down to read, I'll set the timer for like an hour and get on with it. And then probably have like five minute breaks in between. I can't remember if like Faye just read for 12 hours. Like I think she did like eight, like a certain time to a certain time. Um, and just saw how much she read in that. But I think I'm going to get distracted, like I've got a load of washing up to do, I've got to put some washing on. I want to film a video actually, <laughs> so there's other things I want to do, but I still really want to do this reading challenge. So I'm going to try and get 12 hours reading in the day. My partner is out all day working, so I've got the house to myself 
um, but I do want to take breaks to do little chores and stuff so I will be timing it <laughs> but yeah so we'll see how I go with these guys and how quickly I can get through them I am at an advantage because coming to the end of this and it's a murder mystery crime book so I'm really intrigued and when you're intrigued with a book you obviously read faster as well so there's that factor to factor into it. Yeah, it's not a perfect experiment. I think I'm overthinking it a little bit too much though it's just for fun. So, um, okay, I hope everyone is good and I will check in with you later. Hello, so it's now quarter to twelve and I've done three hours reading since like quarter to eight this morning. So I've lost an hour but that's fine. So for hour one I am read sixteen and a half pages um then for the second hour I like perks up and I read 20 and a half pages and then just now for the third hour I read 19 pages so I definitely have perked up I think for hour two I was falling asleep as well so it's kind of crazy that that's the time that I read the most but then the other two hours I was drinking while I was reading so maybe that slowed me down I had like a tea for the first hour and a coffee for the second hour so maybe I was just taking my time because I had a drink um, I don't know. But yeah, so it's pretty much all the same apart from the first hour where I, it always takes me a while to like settle into what I'm doing anyway. I'll talk about the book very briefly, although I'm going to talk about it in my wrap up when I do my next fiction wrap up thingy. Um, but yeah, so things are kind of starting to come out now, although nothing has massively shocked me, but I still don't know if there's going to be like a big twist. I just feel like the main character <laughs> just puts herself into such crazy situations yeah there's some really like sleazy men in this book written in a very i guess honest way for the 90s like just the things that people would get away with the main character is a black woman as well so there's things that conversations she's getting into that would probably still happen now not just in the 90s but the things that she's having to deal with or like keep stim about is frustrating but yeah, I don't know. It's just like a very light-hearted read though. It's very like sneaking around, trying to find clues. It's definitely that type of book. So it's quite fun to read in that respect. But yeah, The Sleazy Men is just not the one. <laughs> I'm not enjoying reading about that. But yeah, in the next couple of hours, next few hours, I'm probably going to finish this. Um, so yeah, we'll see if it shocks me at the end. I don't know. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I'll check in later. Hello, time for an update. So it's now 4pm and I've managed to read for six hours <laughs> from like eight this morning. Um, so I've lost two hours which means that I might not be able to read another six hours in the whole day. Just to go over what I read for hour four I managed to read 22 pages, then for hour five I managed to read 23 and a half pages and for hour six I managed to read 19 and a half pages so I'm about on average I think to what I assumed that I would be able to read like 20 pages ago in my defense I'm gonna say that the pages are quite big and dense in this book <laughs> so um yeah I'm not too unhappy with that that is what I expected so altogether so far that means I've read 121 pages since this morning and I'm really pleased with that that's really good and also I finished A Darkest Shade of Crimson by Pamela Thomas Graham and yeah I think I was didn't see it coming so much at the end um what was going on so yeah that's all I'll say about that I will talk more about the books in particular um in my wrap-ups and stuff like that so this video is more just about me seeing how much I can read um, so I don't want to make it too long talking about all the different books and stuff. But what I will say is this is this book is a murder mystery, but it also talks a lot about race. The main protagonist is a black woman who is the only black professor at Harvard, um, economics professor at Harvard. Um, and the person that's been murdered was a black woman as well. So there's a lot of talk about race in here. There's a lot of, for like a mystery, there's a lot to think about in this book. Um, and I'm looking forward to discussing it with my friends and family. And then after that I picked up Teaching the Stone to Talk. Um, I did actually finish the end of the previous piece of writing that I hadn't quite... Well, I finished it when I was half asleep the other night and I don't think I took any of it in. Um, which, the piece of writing was the title piece, Teaching the Stone to Talk, so I thought I should go back and actually make sure I've taken in what she was trying to say. Um, so I read couple of pages at the end of that and then I read On a Hill Far Away um, which wasn't my favourite piece 
it was about her going for a walk and having a chat with this little boy. See, that's the thing with this book is sometimes I feel like I can really see what she's saying and other times I think I miss the point and don't get it. And I think this was one of the ones where I don't didn't totally get it. Like if there was a point, I, I think I missed it. I'm enjoying it though. Um, and I think it's good to read one at a time because otherwise you just muddle them up and it gets confusing. And then I still had some time left on the sixth hour so I deliberated for a while what to pick up next for the rest of the day and I was going to go with one of my shorter books on my TBR but I had been planning to pick up History of Magic and Witchcraft next which I'm reading for the ex-book club that I run with Hannah and I wasn't going to pick this up because the pages are dense I mean look at that and it kind of makes the challenge maybe a little bit unfair on myself <laughs> Um, because the pages are like two pages on one, I would say. But this was my plan to read next, and we have our discussion um, live video going up in the beginning of August, so I need to read it, and I want to take the time and like digest it. So I am going to read it, and I'm not going to rush it either, so the numbers for this afternoon are going to drop right down. But I think that's also kind of representative of like the stuff that I read anyway, because I like to read non-fiction and sometimes non-fiction is dense, so <laughs> um, it should be incorporated into my kind of personal best score. So this is what I'm getting on with now. I read a few pages in the sixth hour and yeah, I just started enjoying it straight away. It is interesting and I'm looking forward to reading this this afternoon. But first I'm going to go and do a load of washing up because the kitchen's doing my head in looking at it and I just want it to be a bit tidier and um, then I'll get some cup of tea, a biscuit and some snacks and settle down with some witchy chat. Hey guys, I'm actually in my corridor right now because my neighbours are playing their music so loud that I'm like, I don't want it in the background in case I get done for copyright or whatever. <laughs> so I've like shut all the doors and come into my corridor. But I just wanted to update you on the last three hours. So it's currently 25 past eight. Um, and yeah, I've done my three more hours reading. <laughs> so in the seventh hour, I only read nine pages. And in the eighth hour, I read 11 pages. And in the ninth hour, I read 35 pages. 35 was obviously better, but there's a reason for that. I'll just put my phone down. There's nowhere to put anything around here. <laughs> so the reason I read so little for the first couple of hours is because I was reading History of Magic, which was taking me longer because the pages are longer but I'm really enjoying it, it's really good. It is written as like a professional historian's book. Um, it's got all the citations in it and there's um, photographs of some of the items that she's talking about, which I really like. So I read this for a couple of hours, but then there's only so much information you can take. I'm already tired from reading most of the day anyway. And I just wanted to kind of have a bit of a clearer head when I was reading it. So on my TBR this month, I've got The Little Flower Shop at the Sea by Ali McNamara. So I thought I'd pick this one up for the third hour, ninth hour. And um, I read 35 pages of this. And yeah, I mean, so far, so good. I think you're following this lady who's just lost her grandmother. She's inherited the flower shop by the sea in Cornwall and she doesn't like flowers. That's all I really know so far. I quite like the writing style, it's very kind of easy going. I like the character of Poppy so far. You know, she's obviously got some traumas going on in her life or she's had trauma in her life, but she's fairly sassy, a bit sarcastic, quite like that. Okay, so my plans for this evening are carry on reading this, hopefully for another three hours, so then I've done my 12 hour reading stint. I also need to make dinner because now it's quite late. Um, so we'll see how I go and how tired I get, whether or not I actually make it to the full 12 hours. But I think I will definitely be wrapping this up tomorrow. Number one, because there's loud music playing. And number two, because I'm probably gonna get to the end of the 12 hours if I get there and then just fall straight to sleep. <laughs> I've read a lot today and I'm happy with that. It's good. And I've like read all different variety of stuff as well. So has kept me alert and with it, which is good too. Okay guys, I will chat to you again in the morning. Hey guys, it's the next day and I'm ready to wrap up. Um, I didn't manage to complete the 12 hours, although I'm not really surprised. I was so tired um, by the end of the 10th hour. So I read for one more hour after I made dinner and then it was half 11 and I was like, I can't go on. I'm falling asleep. It would be pointless because I just won't take any more 
words into my brain. But for the 10th hour, I read in the end 31.5 pages. So I kind of slacked off a little bit from my maximum of 35. And that was again reading The Little Flower Shop by the Sea. I'm not actually sure how I'm feeling about this book. I don't know what I'm going to think about it overall. I think I might have gone off of Poppy. I think she might be a little bit too sassy and rude for my liking, um, but we'll see how I go with her. I'm pleased I got started though, because I think this is the first book this month that I've picked up from my official TBR, which if you haven't seen any of my videos before, I do a TBR game called TBR Trail, where I pick four books to read every month. And so this is the first one that I've picked up this month and it's the 11th of July today. But yeah, so in total I managed to read 207 and a half pages over the course of the day, which I know compared to a lot of people is so so poor, but I think I'm pretty pleased with that to be honest. I didn't think that I would be able to make the 200 mark. I didn't manage to read for the full 12 hours, hopefully next time I will have less to do in the day and then I'll be able to actually read for the whole 12 hours although I didn't have that much to do. But to be honest, even if I don't have that much to do, I'm still unsure whether or not I'm actually going to be able to read for 12 hours. It takes a lot out of you if you sit down and actually just physically read. I much would have preferred to have been able to stick my headphones in and listen to an audiobook while I was doing the washing up and stuff and still counted it as reading. But that wasn't in the rules, so I couldn't do that. And I managed to finish A Dark Shade of Crimson, read a bit more of these two middle guys and get started on the little flower shop by the sea. So I think it was a really successful day's reading and I'm happy. I'm going to link Faye's video for her 12 hour reading challenge which I really encourage you to go and watch. Watching Faye's videos, she's such a joy, she's always so happy and always makes me smile so I really really encourage you to go and watch her video and if you wanted to do your own version I'd really love to watch you guys, although I'm sure you'll smash my like <laughs> personal best of 207 and a half. If you do decide to do the challenge then please let me know and um, I'll be really happy to watch. And also if you have any tips on what you do to read quicker that would be good as well because I would like to read quicker. I probably will do it in the future, I'll probably do it next year just to see how things compare. I mean maybe nothing will change and this is it, this is how fast I read and that's the end of it. <laughs> Um, but for today my personal best is 207 and a half pages and I'm pretty pleased with that. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching, um, I really appreciate it and I will see you in the next one. Take care, bye!